Good morning, Ottawa Bethel. I am Sue Walthausen, and this is my story. I've been coming to Bethel since I was 15, so that's quite a few years ago. And my testimony really is about the faithfulness of God and how he does grant us the desires of our heart. I was raised in a Christian home with three great siblings and loving parents that brought us to Sunday school and to church every Sunday. And one particular Sunday when we moved back to Ottawa for the second time, uh, we came to Bethel as a family and we all just loved it and kept coming since then. At that time, Pastor and Mrs. Upton were the pastors here at the church, and Mrs. Upton took me and introduced me to the young people, and it's there that I have made some lifelong friends that I am so grateful for. I quickly became involved with young people's and college and careers, Sunday school. I couldn't wait to join the choir. Uh, became involved with the music ministry uh, and duets and solos, singing at various performances. Um, and still involved with worship today. Quite a few years later, uh, Pastor McKnight came to Bethel um, as the pastor, and he got together a group of young people from all across Canada uh, to go on a missions trip to Liberia, West Africa. And I got to be a part of that. And I love the country, I love the people, and knew I always wanted to go back, but never wanted to go alone. As I was finishing high school and wondering what to do with my life, um, I had in the back of my mind I wanted to go to Bible college. But I took a job as an administrator in a large company and uh, worked there for many years. Quite a few years later after starting there, the opportunity came for me to pursue uh, a further education. And so I went to Bible college. I ended up going to Providence College and Seminary. Uh, it's in a little wee town called Otterburn, Manitoba. And that was culture shock for me because I had just finished coming from working uh, downtown busy Toronto. I graduated from Providence with a bachelor's in music and a master's in Christian education. When I had finished that, then I received a call asking if I would consider going to Malawi, uh, the warm heart of Africa on the east side of Africa. And uh, as, don't laugh, the headmistress of Lilongwe Pentecostal Church Christian School. I had said I'd always wanted to go to Africa, but never wanted to go alone. And yet somehow God took that fear away as I adventured out with him. And I found that as we step out in faith with God, he will equip us to do the job that he has called us to do. And so I arrived in Lilongwe, Malawi. Uh, at the primary school where they had uh, up to grade three. I was able to add a grade a year so that the children could complete their Malawi exit primary examinations. And then I was asked to uh, consider developing a high school. So I had the privilege of getting together some building plans, um, contractors, construction workers, bricklayers, curriculum, teachers, and the school started before the actual construction was finished. I was in Malawi for seven years um, as a POC missionary sent from this church and I came home tired and probably burnt out. Um, during my time there I was personally broken into quite a few times which played its toll on me. One particular time it happened in the middle of the night and I was home uh, and woke up to two men trying to break into the house. Um, and so with the communication system in Malawi not being very great, I thank God that I had a cell phone, um, was able to call a missionary that lived just up the street. As he was coming, I thought, oh dear, I have to hide. Where am I gonna hide? So I thought, I'm gonna go under the bed. As I'm trying to get under the bed, I thought, oh dear, I'm not gonna fit. Anyway, I did eventually get under the bed and uh, the missionary came. The thieves had already broken the glass door of the main front door. Um, and when he came, they ran away, and it would have been a matter of two seconds, uh, they would have been into my house, but I thank God for his protection. And at that time, I found a scripture that I really love and still love today, and it's found in Psalm 91, verse four, and it says, he will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. As I was packing to leave Malawi, um, the Lord showed me that he would make me lie down in green pastures, he would lead me beside the still waters, and he would restore my soul, and I knew that I needed that. After returning to Canada, um, I uh, started working at Asher Christian Seniors as the administrator there, and I'm continued to work there now um, with some wonderful people. 
Like I said, my testimony is not about how God has saved me from a terrible life, but of God's faithfulness in my life. And he continues to be faithful to me as even just as early as this summer, I was diagnosed with a cancerous tumor, um, had surgery, done the recovery, um, I've done all the treatments and praise God, I believe that I am healed. My thoughts always come back to a chorus um, that often comes to my mind and it goes, um, I love you, Lord, for your mercies never fail me in all my days. I've been held in your hand. I won't sing more, but Lamentations 3:22. God's mercies are new every morning and he is faithful. So God bless you, Bethel. My name is Sue. This is my story.